Wonderful. Let's write our first computer program. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this, but it's a very, very common habit to teach, comp to teach programming languages by having the first exercise be this thing called writing a Hello World program. Um, a Hello World program is typically the simplest program that you can write with any computer programming language. And it's a program that uh, writes a message uh, of the type with a, with a, with a, with a, with the text "Hello World," that writes a message to something that is called the console, and very typically, all development environments like Visual Studio and any other that you may find have this area somewhere called the console where you can display text messages. It's typically not the main area, so if you're if it's a browser then it's not going to be on the website. If it's a, a processing screen, it's not going to be on the screen. Is this like side window, it's like a side monitor kind of situation where you can have messages um, that, um, that you can use to display information about the status of the program, okay? So how does that work in C Sharp? In C Sharp, uh, in a console application, because we're writing console applications, we don't have a console anywhere yet here, but the console will pop up as we execute the, the, the program. So um, what I'm going to ask you to do, I will explain in the next video what all these things are. So all this stuff here, this stuff here, this area here, I will get to that in a second, but let's write, let's, let's get our, 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 our fingers dirty. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside this thing called static void, blah, 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 and the two curly bra brackets here. I'm going to enter a new line so that I can write code inside of those two curly brackets. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the uppercase console world, console word, you see? And um, I'm going to type dot, and then you can see that I get this pop-up with uh, this drop-down with a bunch of options of things that I can, um, methods that I can use inside of the console object. I will, don't worry about this, I will explain what all this means through the course of these tutorials, okay? So I just want to get uh, something going. So I would like you guys to type here, right line. So you see how I start writing and I get an autocomplete. I'm going to choose right line. I'm going to open parentheses, okay? And then inside of the parentheses, I am going to type the message that I want to write. So that's going to be hello world, like this. However, and then I'm going to finish this line with a semicolon. However, there's a small thing that I need to remember, and it is that um, text in C sharp is typically represented inside of double quotes. So because what I want to print is a message, a text message, that message, hello world, and the exclamation sign has to be inside double quotes. This is a very, this is a C sharp thing. Okay. And that's it. That's the only thing that I need to write in order to write a message inside of the console application, inside of the console. Now here, I can go all the way up here to the bottom that says start. And this is the main button that I will use to initiate this program. So as I click start, something is happening in the background. There is some compilation here in this area on my back, right? And then, uh, you didn't really see it because it showed up on my side screen here. Let me see if I can capture that. Ah, uh, I cannot capture that. Um, let me, let me change screens so that you can actually, oh, hold on a second. Okay, I have switched my, to my side screen now. Um, so you can see now that if I hit start, what happens is that this console application pops up real fast, like this window with the console, but then it goes away real fast. That's because uh, my program, which now looks, has only one line of code, writing this to the console, um, executes very fast. And then when the program is done, executing all the instructions that I gave it, then it shuts down the console window automatically. So in C Sharp, there is a small trick, uh, which is in order to stop that program or stop that window from shutting down, it's a very common technique is to, uh, to add this thing here, uh, console.readkey, and then I open and I close parentheses and I add a semicolon which is basically a request from the user to press a key on the keyboard to continue the program. All right. So if I now run this code and I press start, you can see that this window pops up and that I have my hello world message here, 
can I make this bigger? Yes, I have my hello world message here. And the console application is right now waiting for me to press a key. So as soon as I press my key, then the window stops and the program shuts down, um, which is a very typical way of writing while you're developing and learning to always have like a last line console.read key just for the sake of stopping the program and being able to see what you just did. All right. So um, this was our first program, a Hello World program. So now you know the basics of how to uh, write a tiny bit of code, have the program execute, see the result of that program, and then um, shut down that program using C Sharp. All right. I know that there's a ton of stuff that we don't understand here yet, but that's what I'm going to get to over the course of this series. All right. Before we move on into learning the first basic concept that I would like to explain today, let me explain and let me give you a really, really quick overview of um, what are we seeing everywhere here on this screen. Before I move on to the next video, let me explain something that I just discovered as I was recording this video and that you might find helpful as well. I was having this problem where I was, oh, I'm using two screens. So my main screen is my laptop, which is right here. And the secondary screen is the one that I'm looking at right now. And because my main screen, my first one is the laptop, the problem that I was having is that anytime I started this application, the console window was popping up on my laptop screen. And then I would have to drag it all the way here to see it in the main screen that I'm using. If you're running into that problem, uh, you have two options. You either switch which screen is the main one and the second one, or you do this tiny trick, which is you go here, you go to properties, and then you go to layout and you deactivate this option, let system position your window. What that will do is that the window will always pop up wherever you last left it, you know? So yes, exactly. So it will always pop up uh, where you last have. So this is really, this is really helpful for me, especially recording these um, streams. And if you're watching this, you probably um, have YouTube somewhere on a screen and you probably have C Sharp and Visual Studio on the other screen. So I think this could also be helpful for you. 